Welcome back to the Ghost Key. I am Gray, and today we have another Finnish First Division match for ya. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna dive right into this. Hopefully I don't uh, fuck up the uh, halftime team talk like I did last time. Let's let's hope for that, because that'd, be, uh, that'd be a good way to start. Honestly, we met in a pretty good run of form. I mean, we had four matches where we only allowed a goal. A couple of clean sheets, too. That was nice to see. A couple of 1-0 wins. Um... I think we're gonna really just roll into this with this same formation we've kind of been going with um, for a while now. Um, mostly because we are gonna take Hinkle and put him in there. Put Lindholm on the bench because I can. It's pretty much pretty much all I got for you. Um, um, we seem to be playing pretty well with this formation right now. We're starting to find some goals. I am going to obviously make that change. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to make that change and uh, take that off. You know, keep doing what we're doing with the exception of that. I think I think we'll be all right if we uh, just continue to do, to close everyone down the way we should. But anyway, and maybe we'll come back to that later when we're a little more... Um, when we have a little bit better players, players who can actually tackle really well, shit like that, you know what I mean? It makes a little bit of sense, right? Okay, but anyway, um, actually, oh, well, shit, um, who should we sit down? You know, I'm thinking about putting Michaela down, even though he was the, uh, the hero in the last game laying on that beautiful, beautiful pass. But, uh, yeah, I think I'll have to s take the seat this time. Um, I just realized I should have done this when I started this. Um, I believe on FM14, I know you can on 15, you can go in and when you start the mat, start the game, you, um, start with, uh, all randomly generated characters, all regens, if you will. So they, they all have little pictures and shit like that. Um, instead of using real people and all that stuff, I should have done that. And I didn't, I didn't really think about that, but I should have done that. Um, make things a little more interesting. But um, you know, otherwise we're just gonna have all these old gens basically in the game till about ten years from now when pretty much everyone's gone. And quite honestly, you know, it's just one of those things where I've played so much football. It's kind of like you know, yep, I know Leo Messi. And then that's something too. Like you restart. Like just to say you play. You know, you, you you play it for like 10 seasons and then, you know, you get the next one and then you play the next one for 10 seasons and, you know, Cristiano Ronaldo, Messi, all those are still fucking there and it gets it gets a little old after a while seeing the same people. You just kind of like, you need a change, you need something different every once in a while. Um, ooh, we can kind of get all, yeah, let's, let's get a little, let's get a little vengeful here. Let's see if, see if they respond well to that. See, this is one thing that uh, kind of gets me, like, they seemed motivated, seemed motivated, as it says. We'll see if they actually are, you know, motivated in any way. Hopefully they are, um, because that'd be nice for them to, you know, go out there and control this game. Ooh, y'all yeah, almost stole that. And he eventually did win the ball, but, you know, okay. Oh, no, that's, that's, that's a little... A little too much air underneath that. Didn't get enough uh, length on it either. But anyway. Um, uh, yeah, I don't think I have anything to update anyone on. Um, other than, you know. Well, well, all the shit I've already said. But anyhow, I'm kind of excited to play today. I don't, I don't know why. Last. Last. Uh, I think I, I think what it is is. Uh, they've talked about this before. God, I hate that. I think I talked about this before, it's, uh, I have a hard time playing this game and leaving on a bad note, and that last match kind of left a sour taste in my mouth. Not necessarily because we lost, or we do what you didn't, but, you know, I was just a little, uh, a little irritated with myself, you know, I should've, should've read that a little bit better than I did. Should've, oh boy, I thought that was gonna be a bullshit goal. See, those are the sorts of things that always seem to fucking happen to you when, when you, uh, you know, when you tell them to go for vengeance. Go out there and fucking win. But, see, look at that. That's, yeah, I might have to go change. A little, see, I like this. What the hell are you doing? You had the fucking... 
you had Ryson in all alone there. There we go. Good defending there. Okay, let's let's space out a little bit. Jesus. Hang on, no, that that wasn't a very very good pass. Hey, look at that! One of our uh, I was gonna say our forwards got to it, but we don't really have forwards. We're still attacking midfielders. I always forget that still, but you know, there we were. Come on, string together some passes. There we go. Uh, too much on it. Too much on it. All right then, let's let's get let's get going here. Shit. No shots on goal yet, but see, yeah, uh, I kind of like the possession. Like I said, I mean, I, I, like I said, I, I like what this is able to do when we don't when we, when we don't uh, stay on feed. It kind of, of course, it's not like it really, uh, not really change the way, the way, uh, you know, we really play all that much. It's not like people are diving all over the place on the ground trying to get to the ball. I mean, and, and honestly, though, sometimes a well-timed tackle and laying out like that is what you need. So I'm kind of I'm I'm okay with or without that that um, instruction. I almost called it a team talk, but without that instruction, I'm kind of I'm kind of okay either way. But um, you know it's you know, it is what it is. I'm kind of not liking our attacking movement and shit here. We're kind of bland today. And look at that. I mean, just, just pass it right back. Shit. Come on. Uh, Yeah, 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 our, our, uh, our offensive movement isn't all that good today. Hopefully we'll get, we'll find a way to score at least a goal here and put ourselves in the driver's seat. Although we do have the option, as, as we saw in the last match, we do have the option to change things up dramatically and really go for the jugular. So that is always on the plate. God damn, really? There we go. Now you have an NNT. Yeah, yeah, that's something too. You know, I wish there was a team talk where I mean, of course, there's like dribble more, but I don't know if that'll actually do what I want it to do. I never tried it, but I mean, sometimes I just want players to just drive forward with the ball. I mean, if you get tackled halfway up the pitch, hell, half the time it's a throw in to us anyway. You know, oh, oh, that was a close one there. Is that Hagblum getting in there? I think. Oh, hurrah that time. But like I said, I wish for something where you could just kind of just tell them to run with it. Just take the ball and carry it, you know? But anyhow. Because sometimes, yeah, you see, especially when they're tentative and shit like this, they're just kind of like, eh, I don't know what to do with it. I don't know where to go with it. There's no, uh, no decisiveness. There's no, you know, no cutting edge. Like I said, that it, it's it's a clear indication that we need to work on our attacking movement and shit. Because uh, you know our passes aren't connecting very well, our movement is poor. We're kind of standing around stagnant, you know. And, and unless we kind of get you know something going here soon, we're gonna we'll pr probably see this game out as like a one nothing, and probably end up giving too much possession to Viking if we if we don't get our act together. But um, hopefully our players ooh, are a little bit better, but. Hopefully they'll be able to kind of, you know, take control of the game. And that's something, too, I think you'll notice. Um, one of the hidden stats in the game is, uh, uh, shit. I can't remember the name of it now. But anyway, one of them actually just determines, actually, wait, no, it's, it's not a hidden stat. Let me, let me, hold on. Let me, let me look at something. Let me see if it's something jogs my memory. Uh, aggressiveness, that's what it is. Aggressiveness is, um, it's it's kind of an interesting stat because it it does what you think it does when you think of it right off the top of the you know right off the top of your head you're like oh aggressiveness it means how aggressive he is chasing down players and, and shit like that it's you know or how you know violent he is in the tackle things like that how aggressive you know the kind of the very nature of the word aggressive um, what it also does is it's weird it it kind of determines um, how how often a player really steps up and takes control of the game himself. Like a player like Leo Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo, those are typically going to be more aggressive players because they're just going to go out and say, yeah, I'm going to go score, basically, and, and make shit happen. Um, that is actually a very low stat in this game. It is hard to find players with a high aggressiveness stat. It really is. They are very few and very far in between. It's, it's, 
it just it's just that way for whatever reason it's just it's just that way and um you know kind of like the same way that goalkeepers are just very few and far between i'm starting to think though that in this generation um you don't have as many you know like goalkeeper stats aren't as important Ooh, i thought oh, well, i had a chance at that but you're starting to see like little things like that like that was a good run and the ball was almost perfectly there and then that's the thing we're not generating very many chances and when we are generating chances we're just a hair off kind of like that i mean that was pretty close to getting uh and oh boy and that was pretty close to to being on target but um you know in the end it wasn't that's kind of the way it is you know and yeah and look at that i mean at the end of the first half it's you know we had two shots and only one on target um Should I, should I, should I? I'm not happy with your performance so far. Hey, look, they looked fired up this time. They didn't fuck it up. Look at that. Somebody's good at their job. And it's me. That's right. All right, now see, I, I will likely take, should take Ose off soon, actually, because he's got the card down there and he's not playing particularly well. Of course, neither is Gronholm over there, Jesus. And that's something, too. I mean, in, in, in truth, as I've said before, when you use complete wingbacks or wingbacks in general, whatever formation it is, typically you need them to play very well. Nice. See, there's a little bit of goodness there. Oh, oh please. Please, please, please. Oh, what a terrible first touch, that Harala. Terrible. See, and that's something, too, like I, like I was complaining about FM15. That's that's first touch right there, and we have better players than Irish first division players, and that sort of first touch, you know, was was what kind of happened there. I mean, that's 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 just the way you know. I mean, that's just the way the stat works, the attribute works, and you know, you've got Harala wide open there. Yeah, there you go. See, now that wasn't a bad first touch, although somehow he was fucking off sides. I don't see that shit. How in the fuck was he off sides? Somebody needs to fucking tell me that shit. That was, that's unbelievable. I don't know how the hell that happened. But anyway, I think Hananen's coming on here shortly for Ose. And that's what we're going to make. That's the change we're going to make now. I wish Murano Nall was a little bit pacier. As I think, I think he'd be a bit more useful. Seriously, Monsal got a yellow card. What the hell did he get a yellow card for? Like what the fuck? What 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 could what could a goalkeeper do to earn a yellow card that wouldn't result in a a, a free kick and or penalty spot kick? Somebody want to tell me that? A nice tackle there, Oh God! I'm just getting murdered over there, and then no one can fucking come on. Somebody, you yeah, two people there. Someone needs a fucking. And of course now they're like they're not even gonna fucking think about. And there you go. Just clear it out so that. There you go. We can get hunted in off for fucking two seconds and can come back on and be better. <sighs> this is kind of disappointing. Oh look at Havsi Haka. They're having some trouble over there. So is KTP. So obviously, if all the results hold, which I doubt they will, we're not in that bad of a we're not in that bad of a spot. In truth, um, hmm. You know what? I am gonna make. I'm probably gonna hate myself for this. Yeah, I think I'm gonna hate myself for this. But we're gonna do it anyway. We're at that point where we don't have any goals, and the game is getting away from us. So we're going to put a Rins on for Grand Home. Ryson and Hinkula and Mela. We're Haglum. For Harala up there. Haglum and him play in his normal spot. And Ousu, yeah, we're going to Ousu in the middle. Actually, he might come off. I might take him off here in a minute. Of course, now here we are generating all these chances while I'm in here. 
dicking around with this stuff. All right. Anyway, I think. Uh, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna do this, and then after this goes through, then we'll take Uusu off and put like Hananen or Harala back there. In midfield, probably Harala. I think he's better. A little, a little bit better back there, and keep Nermela out there. But anyway, the good thing is they have absolutely no shots. Bad thing is we're not generating anything, and so we're gonna take the risk and try to um, try to score here. Um, honestly, this is one of those this is one of those situations where it's kind of yeah. it's kind of um it's a, you're you're kind of in a tough spot in terms of uh, whether you choose to you know, maintain everything that's going on. Oh, I thought that was a goal. If that was, I was going about to cancel all my changes. But, you know, mostly because now we're starting to generate these chances and, and shit like that. Um, and now that we're kind of changing this up, yeah. Oop, hit that fucking desk again there. Um, now we'll go ahead and take... We'll take Uusu off. Because I don't... I just, just don't trust the cards right now, honestly, and put Harala back there. Let Harala stay. Have Murato Null up front. This is one of those those situations where it's we are not playing terribly. There just isn't any breakthroughs. So I mean, honestly, I wouldn't blame I wouldn't blame a manager or anyone for maintaining the status quo in this situation. In in, in other words, if you're if you're in this situation where um. You know, they have no shots. They're not generating any offense. You are. And even though it's not much offense, it's more than they are. And you can kind of just sit and hope you make that one goal breakthrough and win. Or, you know, do what we're doing now and kind of... Oh, my God. And, and kind of uh, really go after it. Um, of course, now that I say that, you know, now that I make those changes, it doesn't look like they were really all that wise decisions considering... Oh, Harala. That was a nice... Please. Oh, so close. No. Oh. Yeah. See, like I said, I mean, this. Eh. Hopefully, we'll make a few more. The foul count's pretty high, although I think we're the only ones with any fucking cards. Then they may have one. They may have one card. Maybe. I'll say, who's this? All right, that's them. All right. See, now we're surrendering a bunch of... Oh, boy. Oh, that's a bad shot there. Well, at least we only got 10 minutes left, and hopefully we can, uh... Hopefully we can keep them from fucking scoring a little here. Shit. Well, let's take a look at... Let's take a look at the... Uh, oh. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Whoa. Mm. Like, all of our offense is just barely been off all game. Look at that FC Jazz with fucking one goal lead right now. We can go up by six points here if we just hold on to the draw. In all honesty, holy hell. That's if we can fucking play defense here and get the ball back. Thank you, Nermela. Well done. Oh, and of course you play Mr. Nice Guy and put the ball out for him. Hmm. That's a bit irritating. That is really, although honestly, like I said, it was, with this situation, even if FC Haka, who really is our best, our, our best contender up here at the top of the table, even if they manage to a draw right now, I think, I think everything, all things considered, is, is all right, especially with KTP drawing right now. It's well announced. I don't know why, I don't know why this guy decided to run away from the ball there, but he fucking <laughs> went and did so. Uh, just cannot figure out corners with this club. And neither end of the ball, honestly. But anyhow, there we get. Uh, okay, get the fuck out of the way. What the hell is he doing? God, that irritates me. He's just sitting there right in front of Hagblum the whole time, and you you get you get a little nervous because you think, oh, he's gonna try and pass it, and then it'll ding off that guy in front of him, and then. Some opposition player will just scoop up because they'll just stand there like look at it like what the fuck happened, man? Oh, this is a grand opportunity and a fucking finish. That's what I'm talking about. And that is what I am talking about. Oh man, that's awesome.
Good result so far. Now, here's the question. Oh my god, four minutes of fucking added time. Shit. I think I am going to go take a look at this real quick. See if we can drop into that, maybe. And Oh, actually we can, I think. I think we can. No, we can't. Oh, yes, we can. What the fuck? Oh, are we about to get a second here? I think we did. Fuck it. Yep, fuck it. And then discard all changes. The hell that? We'll, we'll take that second right there on the break. Oh, y'all with another one. Not, not too upset with him out there leading me. I like him. He's got, uh, well, according to the coaches, he's got, he's got quite a bit of, quite a bit of potential still. So, hmm. See, now they're starting to swarm ball. And not, like I said, not a bad defensive effort here. I, I, you know, Oof. once again, you see why. Um, you see why having two formations like that's gonna help them, kind of beneficial. You know, we needed that goal. We were playing very well, but we weren't really, you know, taking full control of the match. Um, so you may then ask yourself, why the hell don't we play in that other formation all the time? Because obviously it's scoring goals when we need goals. Uh, personally, I feel it's not like uh, honestly, I the four one two three zero doesn't really defend as well as I like, especially with not without the players that we have right now. You know, well, I mean, honestly, I just, you know, and it's just my opinion. I, that's the way I feel as a manager. I don't I don't like it's defending. I mean, I think we played very, very well defended. Perfect. Oh, look at that. Eight-point lead. Oh, that's awesome. We defended very, very, very well and and all that good shit. And, and you know, I mean, it, in my opinion, we defended well. I mean, you look at their shots. They had one shot in the entire game, and that one shot did come when we switched formations into the other, into a more attacking formation. Then, then you know, they they got a shot away. Like I said, for me, that's that's the way you need to manage a game. I mean, that's proper management. We were able to silence them, keep them from really mounting any real obvious, you know, threat to the goal, and then. We were able to finally switch things up and add a little more energy to our, our formation. Because, like I said, I would prefer to have very few shots on goal. Now, if I have to sit back and kind of grind that out and then switch to another formation halfway through the match or three-quarters of the match, you know, and, and try and attack and try and get goals, then I'm okay with that. So that's, that's kind of my methodology because I'm just not, you know, like I said, I mean, for me, that's one of the things I've learned. I mean, it... You know, the, the more you play it, the more you, you know, you kind of get that feeling for how a match is going. And we have Ose, who will not play in our next match. That's fine. That's fine. I, I think we got, I think we get enough um, depth to handle that. But anyhow, um, I think I've talked enough, and I'll actually put all those thoughts that I was trying to express there into some sort of, you know, coherent thought probably next time or some other time but anyhow if you made this on youtube you know what to do thanks a lot for watching and like subscribe tell your friends and or not that's fine too bye